Hey folks, David from Keys Mods. We're gonna make something a little different this time. We're gonna make a new moth collecting mixture with seriously overripe bananas, molasses, sugar, and some cheap red wine. Because we're gonna make this sugar line solution that I heard, I got a recipe from my friend, we're gonna try something new, and we're gonna take it down to the Florida Keys and see what comes to this solution. You guys stay tuned to see what we get with this mess. All right. Step number one, open up the red wine bottle. All right, guys, now we're gonna take our little ninja here and we are gonna blend some of these old rotten bananas. Actually, they're not that old. They're a few days old. They've been in the sun for a couple days in a bucket. And we're just gonna take these things, we're gonna put some in here. We'll do probably do two rounds of this. Peels and all. And <clears throat> some red wine, because moths love alcohol. Believe it or not. And then a whole lot of sugar because moths love sugar. And we've got some molasses. All right. I've never tried this formula out. So we're going to try that. Molasses is pretty much straight sugar. This is gonna be a sweet, sweet mixture right now. Got our lid on. Gonna get our Ninja cap on here. All right, here we go. I don't think it needs to be too liquidy. In fact, you want you want the consistency to be sticky enough where it sticks to the tree. So that looks like a little more runny than I prefer. Um, so let's just throw some more bananas in there. Well, we don't need we don't need that. Throw the bananas in there. Let's see. Why not? A little more sugar won't hurt. And a lot more sugar won't hurt. Smogs love sugar. I think the molasses would make it stick really well. We might wind up dumping that whole thing of molasses in. Okay. Okay. All right, that's it's a little runny. I might as well just dump this in. All right, guys, if that doesn't look like moth food, I don't know what moth food looks like. So, what we're going to do now is I'm just going to dump this 
in this Tupperware container. I'll bring it with me. And then, oh yeah, that smells, that smells lovely. <laughs> That's fermented apples, molasses, sugar, and some red wine. And so, um, we'll see how this goes. We're going to, you, what you want is you want something to paint it on a tree with. So like a cheap paintbrush or even a cloth or something like that. And what you'll do is you'll, you'll take this, you'll paint it on tree limbs and, you know, have a good time. Uh, you walk up and down the tree line, uh, the sugar line and look for what is coming to your bait. So I might add a couple apples. In fact, I'm going to do that. Let me cut these up. We'll add a couple apples, a little bit more alcohol, a little bit more sugar, and be done with it. All right, guys. It's time to... Uh, we are going to paint some of this stuff on a tree branch. And my hands are, like, super... Oh, look at that, man. So... I'm going to make sure we paint this on a tree that is not. Oops. Oh, it's not really sticking. Hmm. I might not have made it thick enough. Let's see. It's supposed to smear on. Maybe smear it on like in clumps. So this is the deal, guys. You take your you take your mixture and you just the whole idea is you just paint it on tree branch. Paint it on nice and thick. And then we'll do that in a few different places. And we'll come and check. <laughs> this is actually kind of fun. So, we'll paint some here. Let's see. I'll bet the deer will lick it right off. So, I'm going to actually put some up higher. Actually, I'm going to paint it. In, in this thing here where it, even if it drips down, it's gonna drip into the cracks of the tree. The key deer are gonna get to it if it's lower than that. I forgot about them. Guarantee the key deer will be all over this. So this tree right here has like a big crack in the middle I'm gonna fill that crack with this stuff here. Watch this. That way it'll keep it moist. Keep it from drying out. Okay. Well, we're gonna do this to a few more trees and then we'll wait a little bit and start checking them. We'll see, let you know how we do. Well, my first attempt at sugaring for moths was a fail. Um, I put this on, came back a little later, and it appears as though all of my sugar line spots have been completely devoured by this raccoon. I hear him too. Where is he? Yeah, so this raccoon came out of the woods and was eating my bait. On that had fallen on the floor and I thought it was cute but um it's not so cute when he climbs your trees and eats all your bait off your trees too leaves you with nothing to nothing to look at moths with like I don't even see where I put it on the tree he licked it all off I put a, I painted that stuff on all these a bunch of trees. And not a whole lot is interested, I guess. I don't know. The raccoon sure loved it. Anyway, we'll try again tomorrow night. 
All right, guys, I lied. Moth number one on the sugar bait. Moth number one on the sugar bait. It's a black witch. Oh. Well, got evidence. Moths do like my bait. <laughs> Just as I was about to give up. Um, there's a nice black witch sitting right there. There's not a whole lot else. I haven't seen anything else, but at least we got one moth came to the bait. Hey guys, I'm in Key Largo now and I've got my mixture and I've got my light out there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk around the corner here, this little trail, and we are going to try this again because i am not i am not convinced that we got a fair shake on that last one so here's what i'm gonna do i'm actually gonna be really liberal with this and just pour it i'm gonna come down here See if I can find more vertical limbs. Oh, yeah, yeah, watch this. I'm trying to get it out of the way of like little animals, raccoons and whatnot. I, oh. Some kind of screen mesh there. Okay, everywhere on the ground is just as good of a place where I'm pouring this stuff. Ooh. You're ugly as sin. Oof. Okay, don't get in his way. All right. Is there somewhere else I can put this? Oh, is that a witch? Guys, look at this. Cool. There's a black witch. I didn't know their eyes glowed like that with light. I don't know if you can see the glowing eyes. Huh. All right, well, that's who we're looking for with this stuff here. So they're here. Just a matter of, are you going to pop off this little limb right here and come over to my bait? It's going to be interesting to see. Um, he had no care in the world that I was sitting there looking at him.